Hare Krishna. So here's the sweet rice I just made for Rajbo. Today's Friday, by the way. So after it hasn't been offered yet, you can see all these plates and there. So that's Krishna's lunch waiting to be taken down the altar. It's 11.39. It will, the curtains will close at 11.45 and then Krishna's offered his lunch at 12 o'clock. So, that this sweet rice, once it's been offered and everything's washed up and put away, then I take a little bit because of the ceremony tomorrow, which we're going to see in a minute, which is the first grain ceremony. So this is close up the sweet rice. Um, I made some blueberry and vanilla muffins. What is that? That's apple tea, fresh apple tea, water, and there's some cookies which are made by a separate person and they're basically basket called the daily sweet and it's on that sweet would be on every offering. But the rest the rest we would have to make. We'll be meaning the cook for the particular offering. That don't make sense, never mind. <laughs> but anyway, that's the sweet rice, okay? <laughs> We're in the car now. This is the next day. What you saw was yesterday, Friday. Well, I made that sweet rice. That's off the drive. I'm going to do it for Oh, this is a road. I saw it out the council. So now we're on our way to the first grain ceremony, which I was trying to explain yesterday, but you know, people are listening <laughs> in the food area department. So this is the first grain ceremony. Right where this child is six months old I believe six months old so that's the, the this is a, a samskara this is a stage where the child will the first time be having grains and so whenever right, I was going to say we but whenever he Broadway. he does the ceremonies we try to make sure they have obviously yeah ecstatic <laughs> so trying to make sure they have Mahaprasadam so this child the first thing it's going to eat grain wise is going to be sushi right on the show so solid food solid food all right that's it correct it's solid food oh. <laughs> no it's true so there you go so that's really nice i'm going to put a link by the way to a website called samsara services just so you can see because it explains um different ceremonies and um, what you could carry out what people do and explains it and this is one of them the first grains so i better go because i'm getting a bit travel sick as well <laughs> i'm not good with all this in the car but so we're going to get this soon in a quarter of three minutes right and that's when we're going to have the ceremony and the ceremony on a persona and the First solid foods, of course, I don't know if you did Jatta Karma. Did you do Jatta Karma? Yeah. Yes, you gave me the green sense. That's right. Okay, so perfect. So, so in one sense, although we call it first grains, it's not exactly first grains because he would have had grains you know, at, the, at birth. Yeah. So it's, but basically, it's kind of like first solid food. Yeah. So, um, <coughs> the, <laughs> so the idea is that the, um, the cure is there. And you have the milk, which is coming. Where does milk come from? Where does milk come from? <laughs> Cows. Yes, yeah, so the milk comes from the cow, which is all auspicious. And then there's a little little bit of ghee, and the ghee is to make the skin soft. And then there's some sweet, so sort of like honey, so that is to make his voice voice sweet. And then some ganga jal for purification. And then there's Tulsi Maharani. This Tulsi Maharani is purifier of the entire world. And uh, so Tulsi is in there. And of course, this has all been offered, made by Ramani. <laughs> and and, and, uh, and offered directly to the Lord Shishi Ravala Manishwar. So they're personally present with the Atya and um, so like that. So then the offerings, <coughs> you will feed, feed five times to Mahashra. Each time the offerings are done to the different life there. Uh, okay, so we chant the mantras. Yes, you ready? Okay. 
Shya or Jano de Hitri Pare Chatus Pare Swaha Yay Om Panaya Swaha Om Janarana Anapate Krinute Anam Dehi no Piyushava Shakam Nonam Yad Yad Yuge no Dehi Dripare Chatuspene Swaha The Anaprasana ceremony is really, um, well, as I was explaining earlier, it's kind of, it is the first grains, but if you do all the samskaras, the jata karma happens at the time of birth, actually before the umbilical cord is cut, and there's a slight amount of grain, crushed grain, it's mixed with a little bit of, uh, I think, ghee, and that's placed on the child's tongue at the time of birth. So really it isn't exactly first grade, but kind of yes, it's first solid foods for the for the child. So the um, the we feed the child five times the grains while chanting mantras, and each one is offered to the different life heirs, five of the different life heirs that um, that uh, support the the soul within the body. And these life heirs are uh, pranamaya, which uh, we have, pranamaya is the name of the life force, and it has its forward moving air. So when we eat food, we get pran. So that prana, that's pranamaya, or pranavayu. And then a pranavayu translates as air that moves away. So that's air that's moving away. And then samanavayu is the balancing air. So the air that moves away is that downward moving air as we know, and Samana Vayu is the air that's balanced in the, in the sort of navel and heart region. Udana Vayu is air which is carried up, and it rules the region of the throat and the head, so this is Udana Vayu. And Vyana Vayu literally means outward moving air, and that's the air that moves from the center of the body out to the periphery, so like that. So these are the five primary life airs, and each one of the spoonfuls is offered to those life airs to bring them into balance. So when these life airs are in balance, then one can be uh, content and there is no disease. So we're praying to the Lord to help to balance these life airs. And of course, uh, we feed the child with this uh, maha uh, offering from the Lord. So the real blessing is there. And of course, in this ceremony, I was asked to do feeding, but generally the, the father would feed, and then uh, any other guests, senior personalities who are there can offer grains after, and as we were hearing earlier, then some aspect of the qualities of the person who feeds goes in to the child. So like, on his feet. So that's the end of the ceremony. This is the star of the ceremony. <laughs> Yeah, His name is Maha. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't like close ups like that. <laughs> That's his sister, <laughs> Kalindi. This is Maha Shraya. So, yeah, I think he's ready to eat now. <laughs> Hi, Krishna. <laughs>